Hi, I'm Barbara Rimkunis and this is your Exeter History Minute. Today we're coming to you from Swayze Parkway, Exeter's beautiful public park that runs alongside the Squamscott River. The parkway is the perfect place to jog, walk, do some bird watching, picnic, or maybe check out a solar eclipse. It wasn't always here. This particular portion of the river used to be a working waterfront. Schooners would come up river with cargoes full of coal and lumber. Before the railroad arrived in 1841, this was the way goods were shipped into town. The banks of the river were lined with wharves and warehouses and stacks of bricks and lumber. When shipping died down, the area was turned into a town dump. It was not very attractive and it was really aromatic. That's the way it stayed for decades. In the 1920s, the state of Exeter's riverbank began to irritate one of our town philanthropists, Ambrose Swayze. If his name sounds familiar, it's because we've talked about him before. Check out our History Minutes on Ambrose Swayze and the Swayze Pavilion. And think of this as the third part of the Ambrose Swayze trilogy. The dump annoyed Swayze because he had to pass by it to get from the downtown to his house when he visited in the summer. He knew that the river deserved better attention. In August of 1929, he offered to purchase the land and provide money to build a parkway intended to be a permanent beauty spot. The park was laid out by the Olmsted Brothers, a celebrated landscape architect firm from Boston. You may have heard of the Olmsted Brothers' more famous father, Frederick Law Olmsted, designer of New York's Central Park. The Exeter Project was originally called the Exeter Shore Parkway, Swayze's name for it. The Olmsted plans are currently at the Exeter Historical Society. Work began in 1930. A few houses had to be moved and a lot of fill was needed to build up the riverbanks. Exeter Shore Parkway was officially opened on November 10, 1931, when Ambrose Swayze broke through a silk ribbon and was the first to drive through. Afterwards, Swayze, who's here in the middle of this picture, and the committee posed by the entrance for this picture. The grateful townspeople immediately renamed the Exeter Shore Parkway the Swayze Parkway. Today, Swayze Parkway not only serves as a pleasant place to spend some time, it's become a town gathering place, hosting a robust farmer's market, summer concerts, and a number of different festivals. Each year, there's a Revolutionary War encampment, so you might just hear cannon fire. It's also where we gather to watch fireworks in town. Sometimes a gundalo even comes up river to visit. In 2007, our old stage was replaced with an elegant pavilion. Swayze Parkway, a generous gift and the jewel of the town of Exeter. This History Minute was brought to you by White Mountain Wealth Management and a picture's worth a thousand words. For more information, or perhaps to join the Exeter Historical Society, check us out at www.exeterhistory.org.